call it a man's last ditch effort to save his car from a North County municipality trying to tow it for having expired plates. For months, Fox 2 has investigated St. Louis County towns seizing vehicles with expired plates from private property. Well, tonight, Fox Files investigator Mitch McCoy uncovers an attempted tow that led straight into a ditch. He goes, well, I'm towing it today. Jeff Steer is talking about Calverton Park Police and Code Enforcement Lieutenant Sean Gibbons. He knew what my situation was. Steer says Calverton Park tried to tow his car in August. The city called it a derelict vehicle, or in other words, the plates had expired. I jumped in my car and I said, you ain't taking it. Steer says he just started a new job, making decent money, and needed the car to get to work. Like I was right here, I was in my car. He's like, I'm taking your car anyway. I, I pulled forward a little bit to turn, to back up, and I went through the yard. I have a subject fleeing for me from a seizure warrant. Police radio traffic obtained by the Fox files reveals the lieutenant notified dispatch of a possible pursuit. The Pan Mercury Sable 2002. We're getting on 270 eastbound. Steer drove more than seven miles. And be advised the subject 1050 just east of Bell Fountain. Before crashing on Interstate 270. I sat in the car for a minute. I found my phone. I called my mom, and that's when I opened my door, and then probably a minute or two later, that's when he pulled up. Jeffrey never got a felony that day. He says he never saw Lieutenant Sean Gibbons in the rearview mirror. But when Lieutenant Gibbons finally caught up at the crash site, it was citation after citation. Like this one here, operating a vehicle with no insurance, and a slew of other traffic citations, more than six feet long of citations. When it comes to any type of towing recovery, uh, we are usually the first call. Curtis Barks is the owner of Boland Services, which is the tow company Calverton Park calls when it's towing a vehicle. There's no written agreement between Cal Park. There's no written agreement between a lot of cities because we offer them the best rates that we can and based on their needs. Barks tows for 37 other municipalities. In Calverton Park, he says they've towed roughly 60 vehicles this year. Two thirds of the people never showed up. What does that tell you? It shows people don't care about their cars. And in order to keep the streets clean, like with our departments and what the police departments are doing, you know, there's a big problem out there. People driving around with, without insurance, without licensed vehicles, and they're getting into wrecks to people that do pay insurance. The CEO says he mostly eats the cost when towing out of Calverton Park because most people do not retrieve their car. Bark says he usually turns to a scrapyard, which will net him a few hundred bucks. And the people just don't show back up. We notify them within 24 to 48 hours. We notify them in 10 days, 20 days, 30 days. And these folks just don't come and get their cars. They have no intention to. Why keep the relationship with Calverton Park if you're eating the cost two thirds of the time you go there. I will always support our law enforcement and first responders, um, no matter what. It's not about money. It's about doing the right thing. A warning is sent out, giving 10 days to remove the vehicle. Kelverton Park Lieutenant Sean Gibbons told the Fox Files earlier this year, expired plates and expired temp tags are considered a safety violation and nuisance that affects public health. Unfortunately, when you remove those vehicles, there's snakes, vermin, such as mice, rats, all kinds of other mammals. Nothing wrong with it. It's just I couldn't get it inspected and legal at the time. And he didn't have it, so he took it. We'll try. Steer's car did get towed, despite his best effort, from the side of 270. He got slapped with a $331 invoice, something Calverton Park calls a special tax bill for nuisance abatement costs. Now that's on top of his traffic citations. Sears says Calverton Park and the lieutenant who wanted his car towed put him into a deeper financial crunch. He ruined my life. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. Looks like you're getting emotional. Yeah, I am. Why? Because it's everything I had. I had nothing in the first place. So I take everything I got. For the Fox Files, I'm investigator Mitch McCoy. After our original investigation, Arch City defenders filed a federal lawsuit against Calverton Park, alleging civil rights violations. We reached out to Calverton Park's mayor, who told us no comment. We have not heard back from Lieutenant Gibbons.